Hey, welcome back, guys. MTG Moxman here. Hope you're having a wonderful day out there in La La Land, wherever you may be. If you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe now. Join us on our journey of love, fascination with magic, and all things awesome. All right, guys, we had a ray of sunshine today. D does that make sense? A ray of sunshine. A card I actually deem worthy talking about. Isn't that funny? Uh, I'm not particularly fond of the artwork for this card. Uh, I'm just not. It's kind of like, eh. But I do like what the card does. So let's go into that right now. Without further ado, Narsat of the Ancient Way. I do not like the color combinations, but I like the card. So it is one blue, one red, one white, one other. Forecasting cost comes in at four. Plus one power. You gain two life. Hold on to this. Add one blue, one red, or one white. Two mana pool. Spend only on non-creature spells. This really fits in with Theros, guys. This fits in with enchantments, okay? It also, if you notice, fits into the wheeled house almost of Calyx. So we can see a combo here on a five-color deck or a four-color deck, and we just exclude black. Okay. Minus two. Draw a card. You may discard a card. Then you may discard a card. When you discard a non-land card this way, Narsat the Ancient deals damage equal to the card's converted mana cost. So, picture a deck with all kinds of combinations. Right there, I can discard a seven a seven drop whatever. I'm going to deal seven damage to another creature. I didn't even do anything. I just minus two. It's a pretty effective way of dealing with creatures. I like this card. Okay, then we've got minus six. You get an emblem. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, this emblem deals two damage to any target. Now, think about the copy effect cards. The ones that make copies of the spells. And her. It's going to ping off like this. You're going to see chain effects with this card. You're going to see this card going, oh, I don't know. That Rouse Eric that's blue-red. Copy a spell this turn. So, okay, I'm going to opt. So, I'm going to opt twice. You're going to take four damage from that opt. That's just one thing. Now, you can also add another Planeswalkers like, I don't know, uh, Chandra. Right? Where, you know, she can cast a... Uh, uh, Low-level uh, uh, sorceries instance from a graveyard. Oh, it's here. Take four more damage. I'm going to copy it twice again. I'm going to cast it once. You're going to take two. I'm going to recast it with her. Take two. And it's an awesome emblem, and it's easy to get to. It's a six. Too bad I didn't have a time walking card. This is a very good card, guys. This this has what I consider potential for future damage. Now I do not like the fact it is three mana colors. I keep thinking they have got to add. Better ways of getting mana. I, I haven't seen anything yet that's going to grab me that way. But they've got to get something else in there to get us more mana. So we can get these cards out. Um, I don't see it right now. It doesn't mean they haven't got it yet. But this is what grabbed me today. I was like, hey man, this is like a decent card. Narsat of the Ancient Way has potential. She has effects that we can use. They can be, I mean, gaining life. Always a bonus. Now, since it's going to be um, non-creature cards, picture this with like Heliod gaining life, uh, Birth of Melitos, right? The one that lets you, you know, get a planes, get the 0-4 wall, gain two life. More life gaining, more propping up that way. Uh, that that um, blue-red, wherever you cast an instant or sorcery thing, uh, you get a little 1-1 one -one fairy, light the way or whatever. It's blue and red, so it goes with Narsat. They all, they all mingle nicely. And she gives you mana. So yeah, on turn four, you're laying her out, but you can get a mana too. Right? You, you can do something with it. Not great. <sighs> Pardon me. It always happens. You guys know that. But it does do something. Now, if you start looking at other cards that go with her, right? Uh, Ravel, the Everwise. One blue, one red, one other. It's a zero three, but she gets a plus one, plus oh for every instant or sorcery in your graveyard. And whenever you discard one or more cards... For the first time each turn, you draw that many cards. So you put that with Narset again. They, they're even side-by-side side a Mythic Spoiler here. I'm going to discard... I don't know. Whatever card. Now I get to draw that many cards because I have Ravel the Everwise in play. You can see how this is all going to link together. And she's legendary. So she's very easy to cast out. They're going to be they're gonna be friends. And they're both Mythic, but they're going to be friends. You can, you can sing it. I, I like the way it looks. Now, Rail is going to be pretty easy to kill. She's, she's bolt bait, right? But the fact that 
that <laughs> Narset is not going to be that easy to kill right off the bat. She comes in at four. She'll go right up to five right away. By turn four, you got a couple of blockers out, probably, especially if you're using enchantment deck where you can kind of eliminate things. Uh, I don't see black being used here, but if you do a four color deck, multicolor out your scry lands, maybe. Hey, maybe. Four of each one. That's 16 lands, right? It's not a horrible combination. And then put um, probably three planes, four planes in there. Minus two of your planes, ping land, uh, scry lands. Get up to four for the Melotos. So you can use that. It's going to have green, so maybe uh, omens, right, to get the right basic lands. You have one or two basic lands. You can get every color you need. But you're still talking. I mean, to a red burn deck, it's going to be a little bit challenging, guys. But it is not insurmountable. It's not impossible to do. Um, I, I just want to see how they're going to play this out. I'd love to see... Sorry. Checking things out here. I didn't think I saw anything else today. Oh, come on now. Yeah, just these crystals, right? I mean, <laughs> might as well put chromatic lanterns back in and save us some trouble, but it's fine. Right? Like it says here, even this Farfinder for three, one, one, Fox, Vigilance. When Farfinder is a battlefield, you may search the library for a basic land card and put it in your hand. It's not even put it into play <laughs> for a one, one? Man, come on, guys. There's better cards than that. Beanstalk Giant's better than that. Too bad, man. I mean, the art's beautiful. Looks like Kaya a little bit too, but the the crystals do not. I mean, unless we're watching the dark crystal, this is not gonna not gonna grab me. Sorry, I'm looking at these guys. I'm going. I don't know. The crystal and giant's not bad. Three three for three to get all these little things keep getting put onto him. He's not bad. Um. But all these crystals that give like the colors of mana, they don't grab me. Sorry. No grab there. Give me a, I don't know. Give me a better land cycle. Or, or give me something a little better to get out there. You know? Those things would be a lot more. Sorry, that was my dad calling. I apologize. And I'm going to call my dad back. Don't worry. Don't think I'm some evil person. I am calling my father back as soon as I get off with this, Okay. But you guys have your time, and my dad has his time. So I will call my dad and make his time, but this is our time. And I apologize, Dad, for missing that time. But you know that this time is the time that I do this. See, there we go. I'll mark that as red. I'll apologize to my dad after. I'm a good guy. Now, um, as we were talking yesterday, though, I still am not saying that this is going to be a good set. It doesn't grab me the way War of the Spark did, Throne of Eldraine, uh, even Theros has a good good thing to it. I got to see how this fits together. And then I'll let you know. Yeah. I'm going to need more time with this to decide. Right? Like, if you look at this one, the Song of Creation, green, blue, red, right? You may play additional land. That's good. Whenever you play, uh, cast a spell, draw two cards. At the beginning of your end step, discard your hand. That's good for mid-game. That's good when you've got your stuff going. Right? And again, you notice it works for our same color combination of Narsat with the other person. I'm just saying, some of these colors seem to really fit together nicely. So, time will tell. Um, anyway, I just want to touch base on that today. Oh, sorry. I'm like disappearing into the into the ether here. here. Sorry. Sorry. You know how it goes. Life, life gets busy sometimes, guys, and I, I slouch back like I'm lazy. I don't mean to be lazy for you. I want to step up to the plate, man. Step up for you. All right, guys, thanks a lot for tuning in today. If you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe. Love to have new people join the channel. Um, let's keep an eye on Narset. For, for, she is more of a multi-card than most of the Planeswalkers I've seen for a little while. So I, I like her. She, she has more than one effect. She is going to have more uses than a lot of these other cards. Because all she's saying is it's a non-creature. That's still sorceries, enchantments, artifacts. There's there's just more to her than than the other guys who just say, it's got to be a creature. I'm a monster advocate, and I'd like to advocate for my pet monster, okay? I'm sorry, she does more. And when things have a broader effect, they usually can be used in many more formats from EDH, uh, 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 Commander, every Just keep it in mind, okay? I don't EDH, Commander, the same thing. But you know what I mean? Broader decks, the better the card has for future uses as far as I'm concerned. So, we'll see. 
Uh, it's good to see them go back to a planeswalker that actually has some some oomph to them, okay? Uh, I hope they do a cure. It seems like this would be Cure's place, right? I'm just saying. All right, guys, have a great one. Thanks a lot for tuning in, and I'll see you bright and early tomorrow. All right, guys, tune in. Cheers. Bye.